Hi, amazing viewers. Welcome to Christianity over Islam and on to this episode. This Christian was about to convert into Islam until he learned this truth about Muhammad. Let's watch this amazing video. You Muslim? Um, yeah. Well, yeah. kind of. Long story, but yeah. Explain yourself. Um, basically, um, I haven't taken Shahada yet, but I'm, I'm in the process. What's making you think about taking your Shahada? Well, I'm from I'm from the Caribbean, right? Mm -hmm. Specifically, like Shahad and we like we have our like we have a really multi multicultural society okay and like i i i grew up around christianity hinduism islam and well i like all three but the only reason why i kind of agree with islam is that well the reason i like islam more than the others is simply because not specifically the belief but just what it represents and not i i'm talking more like like the the extremist perspective of it like the um i want to explain to you like the the morals of uh, the morals of it because i mean it, there is there is faults in it there is some faults but i mean everything has its faults and so wait I, so I do, you're, you're saying that there are some falsehoods in islam but overall it's good when i say faults i mean things that i don't completely agree with that's what i mean faults like like what? what's that, what, what's something that you don't agree with in islam i don't like the fact that the um the the level of power male has over female uh, now uh -huh. when you go to the hadiths now you you do see that like prophet muhammad peace be upon him would have been he would have treated his first wife really well but i mean there's parts of it that i, I personally think it's simply because it was a religion that was formed well, um around 12 um close to 2000 years ago well a little bit less but you know what i mean what do you think about his marriage with aisha i um, well, when I when I read about it, it wasn't uh, a matter. It the matter. It was nearly a matter. It was to take care of her to make sure that she wasn't. That's not true. Attacked. I'm I'm not completely sure because I didn't look too deep into it yet. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. So she she her her father was Muhammad's best friend, Abu Bakr. She was she was in a in a perfect home where you know uh, husband and wife are there and. She had shelter. She didn't need Muhammad to take care of her. She had her father already taking care of her. So, oh. yeah. But but what uh, do you what do you think about the age difference between her between nah, yeah, that, 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 that doesn't sit that doesn't sit well with me. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I am so happy to hear that, bro. I am so happy to hear that because, uh, like it's 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 only been in this religion, in my experience, that I have found people defending PDF philia. This is the only religion that does it. They'll openly try to make excuses for it. But I'm glad that you can be honest and say, yeah, that 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 I, I can't get with. I appreciate that. So that's good. That's a good sign. So yeah. so I guess my question would be, how how then could you consider Muhammad a good man or even having morals or a good prophet of God if he's saying if he, you know, <laughs> got with a little girl? How how can you take your shahada and follow a man? who claims to be a prophet and used God as an excuse to, um, you know, sleep with a little girl and marry a little girl. Well, okay. I, again, I don't agree with, with, with that and what he did. Um, I haven't even really looked deep into it. Um, I've heard people mention it, but I don't know like the full story of it. I'll, I'll turn my screen on so that um, you can see all the sources that talk about this. It says, narrated Aisha. So this is Aisha saying it herself, that the prophet married her when she was six years old. She was six years old when he married her. And he consummated the, his marriage when she was nine years old. What does consummated mean? It means to have sex. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, having consummation of marriage is when you you finalize the marriage by having sexual intercourse. So, yep, she was nine years old when um, Muhammad, you know, uh, uh, you know, did it, did his thing, did dingy dingy with her. So that's Sahih Bukhari. Now you, you're new to this, so let me just let you know what this is. Sahih Bukhari is their most authentic book of hadith. And it's the most authentic book next to the Quran. So obviously you have the Quran number one. Sahih Bukhari would be number two. Okay. Um. Wait. Sorry to interrupt you. Um. Yeah. I see there's a guy in chat. He says that he he like he wanted to, like, to discuss with you. And well, 
I, as I said, I just joined because I wanted to see your spe- perspective. I, I think um, I, I'll be wa- I'll be watching though. So whatever you, Wait, see, you I, I, I think you want, serious consideration. You want to drop? Yeah, I see. There's another guy says he he like he because he seems like he's Muslim and he's able to debate you. Oh, uh, you can stay too. You don't have to drop. All right. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. yeah. I don't mind that. Yeah. So th- this isn't about. Well, actually, yeah. Let's um, who who is he? What's his name? Um, it's he has a, a black flag and then it's uh, Arabic. All right, do with the black flag who has an Arabic name. Come mm-hmm. on up, send the request if you if you believe that you can defend this. I would I would love to see you watch a Muslim fail to defend this. I would love that. So yeah, don't go anywhere. If Muslim, if yeah. God, <laughs> if Muslims, if you guys think because it it actually it actually do me a favor in showing you that they try to defend this stuff, they try to defend PDF philia and you know the excuses that they come up with and i want you to hear their best reasoning for this so that you can see how yeah. false and crazy this is so now obviously we know that this is disgusting right adrian yeah 100 okay. now let's keep let's keep going with because there's there's more like this is just one of them all i'm gonna let you know right now all of them say the same thing now what one difference that you might see is the age she was when she married him like so this one says six and maybe in like one or two others that say she was seven when when they got married but all of them say the same thing about when the marriage was consummated when he had sex with her was when she was nine they're all they all say the same thing on that there's no difference yeah there. all right so let's let's just uh let's just scroll down and see all right so here's another one say bukhari this one is 51 58. same thing uh narrated this time it's aura the prophet wrote the mayor wrote the marriage contract with Aisha while she was six years old and consummated his marriage with her while she was nine years old. Yeah. And she remained with him for nine years, i.e. till his death. So he died when she was 18. So narrated Aisha, she's going to be speaking in the the, uh, first person. The messenger of Allah married me when I was seven years old. The narrator Suleiman said, or six years old, right? Now here it is. He had intercourse with me when I was nine years old. He had intercourse with her. Yeah, that's crazy. Now, this is the people that people say that is a prophet. That is a prophet of God who is the most, is the best example for all mankind. Somebody we should all follow and listen to. This dude right here is doing this which causes in a lot of muslim countries and civilizations for men to seek out young girls when they marry this happens to this day because of muhammad yeah that's mad wade yeah now let's let me show you one that actually says that she was uh playing with her dolls when when he uh when he consummated when he married her she still had her dolls with her bro just so just in case someone says oh well aisha was mature when she was six and she was mature when she was nine when she was nine she was oh, a that's woman crazy. That, that's, that's crazy that's yeah crazy. That's but but that's what they say bro that's what they say they say aisha was a special case she was mature when she was nine years old she was a woman then right she wasn't a child at nine let me show you that she was playing with dolls bro so this is the one sahih muslim 1422c for guys on youtube who can't see this all right aisha may allah be pleased with her reported that allah's apostle married her when she was seven years old and was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine years old and her dolls were with her and when he died she was 18 years old so when muhammad slept with aisha she still was playing with dolls yeah that's crazy that's... this is the place where this video get more interesting if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do it to subscribe i don't even know what to say yeah i, I think kind of weird now i don't know uh... This is the religion, bro, that they were trying to, to bring you in, but they didn't tell you this, did they? They didn't show you this. No, nah, I never knew about this. Of course not. Because they know that if you knew about this, this would drive you away from Islam, drive you away from, from Muhammad, um, and all that kind of stuff. Now, but but it gets worse because this isn't this isn't just it, it's worse than this. Wanna know why? Because this isn't just Muhammad doing this. 
this is actually t- other oh well, of course there's other people but but there's a reason why there's other people it's because it's taught in the quran the quran says that this is okay let me show you this is the chapter of divorce okay that's the name of the chapter 65 verse 4 so it's telling you how to divorce like what to do when you divorce your females okay yeah all right so it says and those of your women who have passed the age of monthly courses for them the idda the prescribed period if you have doubts is three months now let me tell you what the idda is the idda is the waiting period when a man divorces his wife it's her waiting period to make sure that she's not pregnant so that she can go in and move on to the next man okay yeah so it's to make sure that she's not pregnant so she has to wait three months so this is for ones who are too old to menstruate right they've passed the age of monthly courses so for them their waiting period if you have doubts is three months so if you doubt that she might be pregnant or not you doubt about her period just wait three months if, she, if she's not pregnant she's good to go right then it says and for those who have no courses now the commentator the scholar puts in i.e they are still immature so these are yeah these are girls who have not uh, menstruated yet so these are the first category are women who have passed the age of menstruation right this menopause then the second category those who have no courses those are girls who haven't menstruated at all if they haven't menstruated yet they're still immature okay it says their idda is three months likewise so they also have to wait three months now remember the idda is for, to see if the girl is pregnant or not so the only way to get pregnant adrian in a marriage is, is what what happens you you know what happens right uh, yeah i'm seeing it now yes yeah. the only way to get pregnant is if you you know y'all sleep together yeah, yeah right so that's who has an idda so there's no point of an idda if you haven't slept with the girl because you got nothing to worry about no doubts to have so the fact that these girls who haven't even menstruated yet they're still immature the fact that they have a waiting period means that their husband slept with them because they need to make sure they're not pregnant. This is in the Quran. Let me just show you another layer of this because you you have a lot of people saying, oh, he's lying. He's lying. He's making wait, this up. Wait, hold on. Can I ask a question? Yeah. And people like defend it. Like people defend this. Yes, 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 yes. All the time, bro. I, I have discussions with people, with Muslims, and you have people that literally make every excuse in the world. They'll try to say, for example, um, uh, you know, uh, if God said it, then it's okay. They'll say, if God said it, then then Subhanallah, you know, Allahu Akbar. He said it, it's okay. Really? That's one. Nice. That's one excuse. Is, is there anybody else? I want to. I want to see that happen. Like, I actually want to see that happen. Yeah, let's let's like, see. Wanna... Let's see a Muslim come up and defend this. Lord, all peace and blessings, brother. Peace Good to be and, back. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. And what and what are your thoughts on uh, him with his marriage with Aisha when he six years old and then consummating think, at nine with the marriage? Why? Uh, I think we really got to look at the society and mm. the times this happened. The society and times. This is true. Normal uh, Okay, but it, it was a time where that was ex accepted. And that was okay. There, there, there was, there was a, time, there was a time where slavery was accepted too. Yeah. Okay. Did that make it okay just and because it was accepted? In that time, in that time, it was the norm. It was the social norm. Yeah, it was black people has. Do, does that make it okay? It was, it was, yeah, but you know, you're it was a something. social. You just said that norm. slavery was normal. Okay, so I said slavery at the time of slavery, it was a social norm. Even black wealthy people had slaves. What, and if we want to talk about what, the transatlantic uh, slave trade, I'm not saying I'm not saying that's that is it is okay. But at that time, it was acceptable. So his best friend Abu Bakr, peace be upon him, gave his daughter to him 
which at that time that was something honorable just like if you have he's the prophet he's he's gonna say no to the prophet say that again is he gonna say no to the prophet that's the prophet is he gonna say no to my he offered no no he no he did not no he did ask show show me where what are you talking about show me okay yeah i'll show you that in a second so slavery being accepted because we're gonna go one step at a time slavery being accepted an acceptable practice back then does that make it okay right today no 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 i'm not asking today i'm asking period does it make it okay and by the way, I did not, I did not drop him, guys. My, <laughs> I'm literally holding the cam, the, the camera to the computer. My, my hands are on the, on the mouse and, and holding the, the phone. I did not drop him. He, he left for some reason. So Adrian, you see though, I told you. Yeah, and I, I know it was. I was even weird because he said slavery was all right. Well, yeah. Then he brought up. Mm-hmm. He brought up. He brought up slavery. Oh my. T- I, I, okay, I, I'm not completely like informed with or because I'm still like there's so many things in religion and like I, I'm I haven't I don't know everything but I'm also a history student so like I know the history really well mm-hmm. and what he was he what he was talking about when he said slavery and black people owning black people it was not it was nowhere as bad as what happened in the Caribbean what happened in mm-hmm. the Americas I don't know if someone that's that I, I don't know man to just to use that as a justification makes it ten times worse yeah. What is what? I don't I don't see him back here. Let, let, maybe maybe we can try another one. Only Muslims. Hello. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah. You speak English? Yes. Yeah. Oh. You see now that you see how it is? That's a Muslim who just cursed us out. <laughs> Cussed us smooth out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all because, Adrian, we're just reading their sources. This is what happens. I'm, I kid you not. I'm not exaggerating. If you watch my stuff, this happens all the time. Notice, did, what, did I say anything disrespectful or am I mocking in any way? Or are we just reading what their text says, Adrian? You're just reading. We just reading over here, man. We we literally have a saying. We're gonna put on a t-shirt. We say we just read, man. We just read here. We just gonna read, and they get so upset when we just read. They manifest because they know that this is wrong. They know that they can't defend it, and they know when normal people hear this stuff, they they cringe. It it turns them away from Islam, and they don't want us talking about this. They tell you, they tell you this fluff about Islam when nothing of what they're saying is true. When you actually deal with Islam, you actually get into it, you see stuff like this. When you actually read what the Quran says, you, you get stuff like this and 65 4 yeah, child. Follow it. Huh? People read this and know, people read this and they know most it. I think that this is what I think, bro. Because uh, honestly, a lot of the Muslims that I talk to are ignorant about what the Quran says. So a lot of them, they, they grow up in it and, you know, they don't know that this stuff is in here. Um, and then they're, but they're so ingratiated into the religion already that they'll make excuses, you know, they'll say, yeah, there, there's, yeah. So, so it's already like, it's, it's a wrap. Like it's, it's tough breaking through, you know, they'll say, oh, well, you know, uh, the prophets, he's, he's obeying Allah and, you know, uh, they divorced her. So this is okay. And they'll make excuses. Um, so it's tough or even with even with converts like you was you was about to be a, a Muslim convert. So like if you got into it enough, you w- would have already been emotionally invested in it. And so even showing you this stuff would not have phased you. You would have been like you, you know, probably would have just like them. No, no, no. I can't. No, nah, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. It doesn't matter how long I do something. If, <laughs> if I anything, if I see that, no, 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 that's sick. I'm not. I can never support that. Yeah, uh, that's good to hear, brother. Wow. So, so this is a, this is only a few things, though, bro. Like, if you watch, like, the, I'm not the only one, but if you if you you follow me, bro, you watch my stuff, watch my YouTube. There's a bunch of this type of stuff. We go through the Quran. We go we go through the Hadith. We show it on the screen. We give the links so that you guys can have it yourselves. We literally show you what Islam really is. Welcome back. Hope you've learned on this amazing video. Please do it to like, 
subscribe to our youtube channel and share to your loved ones as you can see this muslim this christian that was about to convert into islam began to find out some truth that was hidden for him god logic started by showing him when muhammad got married to aisha that aisha was at the age of seven years when muhammad got married to aisha and even slept with her at the age of nine and telling him this islam guys they will tell him that aisha was really matured at the age of nine years when muhammad slept with her so god logic asked him is it good for an elderly man an old man to get married to a girl that is just seven years old and even sleep with her when she is nine and the guy found that thing irritating to him and god logic go forward to show him truly that he that aisha was really a little girl when muhammad got married to her where it was written in the quran that aisha was even playing with toys with her friends in the room each time muhammad come back from his prayers meeting to meet aisha you will find aisha playing with toys this means she was really a little girl when she got married to muhammad and God logic went for to tell him that Muhammad they only got married for only eight years. That means leaving Aisha at the age of 18. Aisha remained a single mother from that age because it was said in the Quran that no man can marry any lady that's already been married by Muhammad. And he still came and God logic still went forward to show him that it was written in the Quran that an old man can still get married to a young girl that is not that is not up to a puberty stage. And this guy found this thing irritating to him. And God logic asked him, this kind of ways of this prophet do you want to follow? And this guy found these things irritating to him and he had to back up from this religion. Thanks for watching this amazing video. Please do it to share to your loved ones. Anyone you know that is about to convert from Christian to Islam, let them watch this video so they learn and found this truth that they haven't seen in the Quran. Thanks for watching this video.